So this is just a quick demonstration on how to uh, find and view tables on uh, PXStat. Okay, so I'm just going to show you different ways that you can find uh, whatever table you're looking for. So the first option is to use the browse menu on the left. So this is similar to what you would have been used to in StatBank with the, the tree structure on the left of StatBank. But this is a similar uh, setup here on PXStat. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to find uh, some. Uh, live register tables here maybe just to show you so if we go down here to uh, labor markets and live register so you can see here this is our subject labor market and under labor market we have various products uh, one of the products is live register and you can see that we have 43 tables against this um, product live register here so if i click in here to live register so this should bring up a list of all the live register tables here okay so this is one, so L, you can see LRM01 here is the first one. Um, so that's that's one way of finding the table, LRM01, okay? So another way, if you know the table ID, every table on PXAT has a unique table ID. So if you know that table ID, uh, you can just put it straight into the search bar here. Uh, so you can put in LRM01 in here, search. And that'll bring you here. It's be the only result then, and you can click in here then um, to LRM01. Okay, so another option you have um, is to search for something. So you can just put in a search string as well. So I'm just going to demo that next. So if I search for something like, uh, let's say something popular with baby's name, and search for that. So you get a list of uh, tables search results relevant to your search here. So you can see they're sorted by relevance. So the, the most uh, the most relevant results should be up on top. So here we see uh, the table boys names in Ireland with three or more occurrences VSA 50. Uh, so here you can see on your list of results, you can see when the table was last updated and the copyright and the language and various things like that and the various dimensions as well associated with the table, okay? So that's another way to, um, to find the table you're looking for. The last way then, just go back to the home page again, the last way that you can find uh, a table as well is through the, the last updated tables list here as well. So this is always on the home page. So this is just a list of, as it says, the, the latest tables that are, have been updated by the CSO. So here you can see again, table ID, table name, the various classifications or dimension, dimensions associated with that table language and when it was updated okay so that's another way you can just click in here and that will bring you into directly into the table as well okay so when you actually want to go and look at uh, data in a table then i'm just going to give you a demonstration of that as well so we'll just use um lrm01 for the purposes of that so let's just go straight to that table again so i'm going to click in there so now we're into uh, the table lrm01 Okay, so on the left here, um, you have some fair, some just a bit of metadata associated with the table. So this, the first thing here is just the share option here. So if you wanted to share this on social media or copy and paste into an email, this just gives you a handy shortcut here uh, to do that. So you can click on the copy link, which will copy the link to your clipboard. You can paste it into wherever you want. You can also share directly to an email, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, uh, various other options here on social media. Here is just some uh, footnotes associated with the table. There might be some links to background notes or methodology pages or whatever, um, which would be relevant to the table as well. Here, you can just simply download the full data set in various formats, CSV, JSON, SAT, PX, or X, XLSX. And here is some contact details uh, for the table if you need to contact somebody directly in the CSO with any questions you have about the table, okay? When it comes to actually viewing the, the data itself, so this is the um, this is the interface here where you can slice and dice the data and only select um, a subset of the data depending what you want. Okay, so I'm just going to make a selection here. So I'm just going to select the only statistic, which is uh, the number of persons on the live register. I'm going to select uh, the last three months. I'm going to select um, all ages, both sexes. And I'm going to select two from the social welfare scheme classification. So I'll select uh, job seekers allowance applications and job seeker benefits. 
benefit thing. Okay, so I'm just going to click on the view then to actually bring up the table for me. So here you can see um, the table with the values. Okay, so this is the, the flat format of the table. So here you can see our values over here, which are um, all the variables associated with it with that value. Okay. So you then have the option at this point, you can decide to pivot the data if you wish. So you can pivot per dimension. So here you have a drop down here, so you can select the dimension you want to pivot on. Okay, so because we have selected a number of different um, variables from the time dimension and also a number of different variables from the social welfare scheme, I'm just going to show you how you can pivot on those dimensions. Okay, so if we pivot on the, the month dimension, you can see the table will redraw here with the exact same values, except it will just put the months, the month variables across the top here. So you can just easily then compare one month to the next. I'm going to just also pivot by social welfare scheme. So again, it redraws the same data, just allows you to compare two values from the same. Okay. So from here then as well, you have a few more options. Uh, you can do things with the, with the table. You can choose to download in various, so got, this is you're downloading the results you have chosen as opposed to up here, you are just downloading the full data set. So that's just a simple full data set download. This download op offers you, you can just download only what you selected, okay? So if I select here CSV, so that should just download here, my download stream, now you should see a CSV file with just my, with the exact same result as you're seeing here. And if it's because you have pivoted as well, your download is going to be uh, pivoted for you as well. Okay, so if I just click on this and open uh, my CSV file. So this is the CSV file, exactly the same as you viewed it on the screen, okay? So you can then go back and if you want to unpivot it, you can unpivot it, that'll put it back to the flat format again, and you can download the CSV and that will be downloaded in the flat format, um, like exactly like you see here on the screen. So there it is, should be just opening up now. So there it is back in the, the flat format again. Okay, so you have the option as well to um, download in Excel or JSON stat as well, which would be more of a machine reader format. Okay, so CSV, JSON stat, PX, or X, X, LS, X as well. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is just the option here as well. You can actually take this table and embed it in any HTML page if you wish. And if the data uh, gets updated in the CSO, then as long as you have auto update turned on true, uh, it will update in your page as well. So I'm just going to show you how that works. So down here we have a uh, little snippet code, which you can simply click on the copy icon here. So that copies this code to your clipboard. So if you go and take this code, so I have a simple, just a simple standalone empty HTML page here, with very little on it. So if you just imagine this is your own personal website or company website or whatever, so it's just got, it's empty at the moment, more or less, there's nothing really in it. So I've taken my snippet code. This is my HTML page. I'm simply going to paste the snippet code in there. I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back to my HTML page and I'm going to just refresh it. And it should render my table. There you go. So there's my table now rendered in my personal, in my personal um, web page. Okay. So uh, once you're once you have your table result here as well, then. Uh, you do have the option to do some extra filtering of this if you wish, so you can use the search within your search results as well. So if I just want to narrow down my search, just we'll say for um, one particular month, I can just type in my search here, 2020 M08. So this further narrows down my search results. This is just renders the, it just narrows down what you're seeing on the screen here now. So if I just X that thing just brings back my original view as well. So that's just a handy feature to, if you had, I suppose, selected a, a large number of rows down here, this, this is a handy feature just to find the exact row or data that you're looking for. So I think that's everything. That covers all viewing and um, downloading on data in PXF. So thanks very much.